Hey everyone, what's happening? Welcome down to a brand new top 10 right here on Theme Park Insanity. brand new episode of our top 10 series we're going to be sharing our top 10 tips for visiting Flamingoland Resort near Moulton in North Yorkshire. Now Flamingoland is our home park and we absolutely love it. It's a very unique park filled with very unique attractions and rides and of course they have an on-site zoo too. So it's fair to say there is loads to see at Flamingoland but what's the best approach to take with it and how should you kind of sort of plan your day? Let's discuss. Okay, so we'll start with number 10, and that is ride Kumali first. Get there and start your day on Kumali. Basically, Kumali has one train and always has operated on one train. And queues can get quite lengthy for the ride. Now, it is one of the most popular rides on park, aside from, of course, Sick and Mumbo Jumbo. So you want to head straight to the back of the park and start your day on there. And furthermore, make sure that you do arrive early to Flamingo Land as well. But parking is completely free, so you don't have to worry about paying for that. And yeah, just head straight to the back of the park and start your day on Kumali. Next up, we advise that you head straight to Mumbo Jumbo after riding Kumali. Now, alternatively, in all fairness, you could probably do these in the other sort of way around as well. It doesn't kind of really matter whether you start on Mumbo Jumbo or start on Kumali. I mean, personally, we would recommend that you start with Kumali. It's definitely a great way to start the day and then kind of head on to Mumbo Jumbo. But regardless, if you do start that way, do make sure that you hit Mumbo Jumbo second, as that can get quite substantial cues throughout the day. And even when it's operating on the like of three cars, you'll still be waiting quite a fair while for a ride on this great roller coaster okay so let's discuss the elephant in the room and of course that is hero at flamingo land try it at least once give it your own go make your own decision on it as to whether you do enjoy it or whether you don't you know at the end of the day you can only be the judge of that now as much as we don't enjoy it we definitely recommend trying it at least once by doing that of course you experience it and you kind of get to form your own opinion on the ride so yeah try hero at least once now this next one is very important because as much as there is to see in the theme park, of course they've got an on-site zoo as well. So make sure that you make time for the zoo. Now the theme park itself is great, there's loads of attractions there, but the zoo offers a full range of different enclosures and animals to see, the likes of lions and tigers and so much more, as well as animal shows too. So you don't want to kind of miss out on obviously making time for that and actually experiencing that too. There is also of course zookeepers up there who are always willing to stop and talk to you about the each and individual sort of enclosures that they'll be around so make sure that you make time for the zoo and of course pay it a visit during your visit okay so cliffhanger of course looks incredibly intimidating but don't miss having a ride on this incredible SNS shot and drop tower. Now, it's one of the UK's best by a long shot. It reaches heights of nearly 200 feet. It gives some absolutely stunning views of the surrounding area. And yeah, it's a great ride overall. You do not want to miss out on experiencing Cliffhanger at least once during your visit to Flamingo Land. Okay, so as great as the rides and attractions are and as great as the zoo is you don't want to miss out on the shows as well. Now, we're not just talking about the animal shows, of course, the sea lion shows and the bird shows, but we're also talking about the Pirates of Zanzibar show in the entrance plaza. Now, Pure Entertainment, who run the actual shows themselves, are absolutely fantastic. Their staff are amazing, uh, very, very talented indeed, and the shows they put together are always great fun to watch, great for the family overall, very interactive. So, yeah, make sure that you do make time for those. Check out at least one show per visit, and, yeah, just don't miss out on them full stop. Now, when it comes to food and drink, Flamingo Land offers a full range of different options, including the coach house at the back of the park. Really nice, good quality pub food at a fairly reasonable price. You've got the diner, which is well worth checking out. A range of takeaway options, including Chinese and fish shop options. But in all fairness, as nice as they are, they can prove quite pricey at times. So if you are looking to do your visit on a budget, make sure that you do take your own food and drink with you. There are loads of picnic areas within the park and within the zoo where you can kind of settle down, take fire from your visit and kind of have some food and drink during the day and it does cut down on the overall cost of the visit as a whole. Now as much as we do love riding the rides and attractions at Flamingo Land and occasionally we do like getting wet so obviously we'll give Lost River Ride a go because you did get quite sort of drenched on that. Give the Splash Battle a miss. It's absolutely horrific. You're going to get absolutely drenched on it. You cannot avoid getting wet and you will come off absolutely soaked through to your skin. Now as much as that might be great during summer, I mean if you're going to go on it wear swimwear but in all fairness yeah, if you're going to go on the colder days, <laughs> give it a miss. 
because it's absolutely horrific. You literally, as I say, cannot avoid getting absolutely drenched wet through to the skin. And those dryers don't make any difference whatsoever either. So yeah, give the splash bottle a miss. Now, if you are going to visit Flamingo Land as a family and you're kind of making a holiday out of it, then stay on the resort at least once. Now, of course, Flamingo Land, of course, offer their own accommodation in terms of lodges and caravans, but there are a lot of private owners as well that do obviously have availability on their own private caravans. And in all fairness, the accommodation up there is fantastic. It's very much kind of on par with sort of butlins in terms of the feel of it, so do bear that in mind when you book in it. But yeah, stay at least once. You've got full range of entertainment during the evening. There's food options, there are arcades. There's so much more to see when and the park does shut as well just as sort of alongside the rides and then on top of that flamingo land also features its own indoor swimming pool and water park too so yeah make sure that you do stay at the park at least once and make a full break out of your stay at flamingo land okay so lastly we can't talk about flamingo land without at least mentioning sick once now, I'm sure you're all wondering, when should you ride sick during your visit? Well, in all fairness, we would recommend that you check it out last. The reason being that when people come through those turnstiles, they're going to one or two rides to start their day. They're either going straight to Velocity or they're heading straight to sick. So if you leave, leave your ride on sick until last thing in the day, then there's more chances of smaller queues on the ride. And in all fairness, there might even be a chance for some re-rides as well. It does get very busy during the day, and rightly so. It is the park's headline attraction. But yeah, you've got to ride it at least once. And if you're going to do it, make sure you do it at the back end of the day as opposed to the start of your day. So there you go. Those are my top 10 tips for visiting Flamingo Land Resort. And hopefully you found some of those helpful. But I'm sure that a lot of it might come as common sense anyway. And if not, you know, let me know in the comments below kind of what you would recommend doing during your visit as well. Hopefully you guys find some of these tips interesting. But overall, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. As ever, if you have, please consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on those notifications. And again, if you have, smash the like button and let me know. It always really, really helps. But for now, guys, I'm Joe. This is Theme Park Insanity, and we will be visiting Flamingo Land this coming Sunday with a full vlog to follow our visit. So make sure that you stay tuned for that very, very soon indeed. Take care. Have a great day.